This is a video for anybody who is unemployed or stuck at a job that you're just not happy with. In this world full of chaos and so many things outside of your control, there are two things that you can control. How hard you hustle and how nice you are to people. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So let's get started with this video. Do you see this big old smile on my face? It's bigger than normal, it's just a little bit bigger. But anyways, let's let's go back and start from about two weeks ago, all right? Any of you have been following me uh, for a little while, or even a couple weeks, you know that I got laid off from my job. They eliminated my position from the company I was working at for three years. And a lot of you, you know, you were so supportive and like people have been checking in on me and stuff like that. I made a follow up video about how people like caring about me, like makes me uncomfortable and stuff. But like, I have been just in the best mood ever since I got let go of that job. And a lot of people don't understand why. And it's because of the two things that I'm gonna talk about mostly in this video. Work hard and be kind to people, all right? Like you guys don't even understand. You do not understand from the second, like literally the day that I lost that job, I had so many opportunities presented to me that it would blow your mind, okay? And opportunities that I didn't even know existed, okay? So <clears throat> yesterday I did my, uh, my all day live stream, right, over on Twitch. By the way, if you're not following me on Twitch, Go follow me on Twitch. I'm doing a bunch of amazing stuff. I get to talk to you about mental health and stuff like that. So yesterday, I'm all geared up, ready to go. I'm like ready to uh, stream all day, play Fortnite, watch videos, talk to all of you, edit some videos and stuff like that. And I get a call in the morning, a call I've been waiting for, and I get this call and they're like, yo, we need to meet up, uh, or can you meet up for coffee this afternoon? And I like had to tell everybody on the Twitch stream, hey, sorry things changed, I gotta go meet somebody for coffee. And here's what it was. So basically, and I won't give too many details until everything is finalized and she's okay with it and everything like that, but I do wanna make this video to inspire you and give you some hope. So basically what happened was, at my company that I was working at for three years, this drug and alcohol treatment center, and we specialize in mental health too, there was a therapist there an amazing, amazing woman. This therapist was just on point, okay? And she left maybe a year, year and a half after I started working there. And if I'm being honest with you, we never talked that much. Like, uh, we were in meetings together, we talked in passing, we shot some emails back and forth and things like that. But like, I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty good judge of like people who are good at their job or amazing at their job. Um, some people show up for a paycheck and some people actually love what they do. And she was definitely one of those people. Well, anyways, like the day I posted on Facebook, like, hey, everybody just, you know, in case you didn't know, lost my job today, you know, whatever. And she hits me up on Facebook and she's like, yo, Chris, she's like, I'm starting this new, uh, this new treatment center here in Vegas and I wanna talk to you about it. And I'm like, okay, cool. And like, we, we met up for coffee that week. Like the first week that I got let go, we met up for coffee and just her vision of this treatment center is amazing. And like, we really got to know each other and I'm like, she, she gets it. She gets it, right? Like she's just so passionate about helping people, you know, and all this other stuff. But anyways, um, we talked for a while and you know, she's like, you know, I want you as part of the team and everything like that. So yesterday I got the call from her that her business partner was in town and he wanted to meet me too so we could talk. But anyways, it went, it went phenomenally well. Like I'm pretty sure the deal is sealed. I'm gonna start working at this new treatment center um, that she's opening up, which is so, so, so exciting. But I don't wanna like say anything cause like, I'm not really a, a superstitious guy, but I'm an anxious guy and I try not to get my hopes up unless like paperwork is signed and everything like that. So if you're watching this, I won't like say your name, but if you're watching this, just know I love you. I trust you. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be working together in some way, shape or form. Anyways, but like what I wanna tell you guys is, is like I, this is only one of the opportunities. So 
Like when I when I was let go from that job, an old boss, the one that hired me, he's gone to do very great things. And he actually, he's actually uh, working for a new treatment center on the East Coast, and he hits me up. And he's like, hey Chris, like you work hard, you hustle, da 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 da. Can you, you know, help us out, you know, with uh, some writing and blog posts and things like that? And I'm like, yeah, man, cool. Not only that, but there was another uh, treatment center here in town for teenagers, uh, primarily teenagers with mental health issues. I had been talking to them and they're like, yo, like you work hard, you do stuff on social media, can you get, can you help us? And I'm like, yeah, sure, like you guys, I've been fine, but like, like to the point, okay, like, I, I want to make a whole video on this. Like, I'm not a fan of intelligence. I'm not a fan of like IQ tests, how smart are you and stuff like that. I just think it's a bunch of baloney. You know what I mean? Because I know some of the smartest people in the world who are just the most miserable people in the world. You know what I mean? Like intelligence does not is not a good barometer for how happy you are. And like, I just, I've known for a long time and it was taught to me, like the two things that I'm in control of is how hard I work and how nice I am to people. Like you guys, these opportunities like, okay, so back in the day, let me put it this way, back in the day, Day, I would have looked at somebody in my position, I would be like, gosh, that guy sure is lucky. He's so lucky, why can't I be lucky like that? Like, no, it's not luck. I bust my butt, no matter what job I'm working at, no matter what I'm doing, I work hard. I made a video for my dad's birthday about, you know, uh, four quotes from my dad to live by, and it was like, one of them was give more, not less. You know what I mean? So no matter what job I go into, I bust my butt. I go above and beyond. Even if I'm not happy at the place I'm working, even if I don't agree with the management or whatever, I'm always trying to go above and beyond. And you guys, like, it gets noticed. I was just joking with my girlfriend and best friend this morning, because I read, uh, <laughs> I read one of my friends like Facebook posts like I'm hardly ever on Facebook anymore and like he had to tell the whole world about this good deed he did he had to tell the whole world and like that's who I used to be I used to like hey look at me look at me look how hard I'm working look at the good things I'm doing right but like when you just stick your nose down and you just work hard people will notice like I've been getting hit up by people who just noticed my hustle you know what I mean there's so many people who I don't even think watch this YouTube channel you know like people I know in person and they've hit me up like I had people hit me up after I lost my job they're like yo Chris I watch your videos all the time like people I haven't talked to in years are saying that like people will notice your hustle work hard no matter what you're doing and I've done some videos about how you can work hard at a job that you're not happy with and how to overcome like depression at a job. You know what I mean? The company I was working for, you know, previously, like there's no like, um, terrible feelings towards them, but you know, they could have done a, a better job in certain ways, in my opinion. But like, I still busted my butt and like the way, you know, I did that was just like, I focused on the clients, right? I focused on the clients. Like on my bad day, I was like, Chris, no matter how bad your day is, focus on the clients because I love helping people, right? But what I'm getting at is people will notice you doing good things. You don't have to plaster it everywhere. You don't have to say, look at me, look at me, look at me. You know what I mean? But that's the hustle part. That's the work hard part. But be kind, like be kind, that is in your control. And just, I go out of my way to just be nice to people. I'm nice to people, like I go up and I like, I smile and I greet them and I talk to them, you know? And like, no matter where I'm working, I'm the guy that people know they can turn to if they need help with something. Like, I don't do this in like a, a people pleasing way or a codependent way, it's just, I was taught many years ago, screw it, I'll say it, I was taught when I got sober to be of service. I was taught to help out others. I was taught to do things without expecting anything in return. So when I was like working at my treatment center, if there was ever a counselor or a therapist or um, a, a tech, whoever it was, and they like needed somebody to cover their group for them, like they knew they can come to me. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, I would say yes. That, that fraction of a time that I would say no was because I had other things that I had to do and I had to say sorry. And you know what I would do? Here's what I would do, and this is a tip for all of you. If I could not cover a group for them, I would say, hey, I can't cover this time, but here's what I can do. So I wouldn't just shut the door off and say, no, I can't cover it for you. I'd say, hey, that doesn't work. I have a meeting or, or a phone call I gotta be on or another responsibility, but how about we rearrange it like this? You know what I mean? Like I help my coworkers out and I just try to be nice. I try to be kind. I try to do as many, as many things as I can without expecting anything 
gift in return. I remember, and I'll end this video with this, I remember when I first got sober six years ago, my life was a mess. It was a freaking mess. I had no money. I wasn't allowed to see my son. Um, people still hated me in my life. You know, I had no job, all sorts of stuff. And I used to call, I used to call my sponsor. I called people with more time than me. And I would ask them this, and now I get this question. I would ask them, I said, when do things get better? When is my life going to get better? I just wanted them to tell me. I wanted them to tell me, okay, Chris, well, on November 18th, you know, 2000, whatever, this is when your life's gonna get better. That's what I want. I'm impatient. I want you to tell me when my life's gonna get better. But they never did that. You know what they told me? They said, Chris, as long as you stay sober one day at a time, and as long as every day you try to be a better person, I promise you, things will get better. That's all they would say. And that's not the answer that an impatient guy like me wants to hear, but I remembered it and that's all I can do. That's all I can do on a day-to-day -day basis, was not pick up a drink or a drug. So if you're not an addict or an alcoholic, boom, you already got one of those solved, right? Because you can drink or, you know, whatever, like, and not have the consequences I had. But the second thing was every single day, try to be a better person. And I do that every single day. For the last six years, I've tried to be a better person every single day and look at the opportunities that are presented to me. On some days, I'm trying to be a nicer person. On some days, I'm, uh, I'm trying to be a harder worker. On some days, I'm trying to be a better friend or a better boyfriend or a better dad or whatever it is, right? But every day, I try to improve myself. So I work hard and I'm kind to people, and things are working out amazingly. So I really wanted to make this video to inspire some of you to give you some hope. These are the two things that you can control, your work ethic and your kindness, all right? Remember that, okay? But anyways, I wanna know your thoughts on this. Leave comments down below, but that's all I got for you for now. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all so beautiful. And if you wanna check out some Rewired Soul merch, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Work hard and be kind, and I'll see you next time.